Friends, family, loved ones, strap in your seatbelts. We got a nice long video for you today. I'm Zach, an actor in the city of Chicago, and this is Chicago Reacts. And it wouldn't be Chicago Reacts without my partner in crime. Uh, I'm Michael. I'm also man himself. Oh, you're still going. I was still going. I didn't know. You, I was you like the beautiful pause. man himself. If for effect. Oh, pause for, pause effect. for effect. You guys even know that. I, I, for I, effect. I, well, thanks who, for calling me beautiful man. I'm Michael. I'm an actor here in <laughs> Chicago as well. <laughs> I appreciate the compliment. Mm, and uh, we are here reacting to Unstoppable Moron Makes Nuclear Wasteland <laughs> Noticeably <laughs> Worse. It's a Fallout New Vegas video by Russian Badger. Oh, I'm excited for hey, this one. Hey, 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 Russian Badger, credit to you for making, making these titles in yes. and of themselves just hilarious. Brilliant. Like, Brilliant. Just absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Um, Michael, Fallout New Vegas, have you played it? Uh, not a lot. Um, my brother played it more than I did. I would sure. like watch him play, but I played um, seven. Uh, no, I didn't play seven. Which one did I play? I don't remember. So like uh, I Fallout Three. Sure, that I, was I my played big one. I played Fallout Three, and then I did play Fallout Four as well, mm -hmm. um, quite a bit. Uh, New Vegas. I have never played New Vegas, but it's yeah. it's probably the one that has always intrigued me the most. Um, yeah. I think it just came out during kind of like a weird time in my life as far as like mm -hmm. like being in school and stuff. So I just yeah, didn't have same. a lot of time at the time. But um, the the storyline from whatever, like I watch Let's Plays of uh, New Vegas all the time. I think like it's considered one of the best games where like all of your choices matter. Like mm -hmm. like literally like who you side with determines like like one of your potential endings and yeah. like it's it's a very dynamic game yeah, um definitely. and and i love it and the the storytelling by uh it was obsidian games that did this one not bethesda's in-house mm, so okay. um so yeah super fascinating game and of course russian badger super fascinating man uh, or or tank uh, from the pain yachty showdown the six four tank that russian badger <laughs> is um but yeah, I'm excited for this one, um, for sure. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it looks to be a long one. So let's let's just let's kick back, in grab and your get popcorn, folks. Um, if you like the video, feel free to like the video. If you love us, feel free to subscribe and uh, leave a comment. What's your favorite Fallout New Vegas memory? If you've managed to play the game. Also, uh, our stuff is linked below in the description of the video. We got our Instagrams, IMDb's, all that good stuff. Michael has his website where he's got. If you want to check out uh, the show I'm doing, it's called Drunk Shakespeare Society. Go check it out. And uh, you can uh, find uh, a link at the performance page. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, if you want to come see me in the flesh, uh, we'll see. I know Chicago's uh, COVID stuff is ramping up. So yeah, we'll see what we'll happens see. with that. We'll but see. as of right now, we're just doing masks and it should be a good time. All right, baby. Let's do it. Let's, let's venture into the wasteland with Rust and Badger. Uh, Troll in the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. <laughs> spoiler warning. New Vegas has an incredible story, and it's a shame to ruin it with spoilers. So consider this a fair warning. Welcome to New Vegas, a wonderful place that makes you... Fuck the NCO! <laughs> <laughs> mm. Welcome to New Vegas, a wonderful place that Fucking makes you New say... Vegas. That's Vegas, baby. Have you ever seen a man use nuclear weapons in close quarters combat? Fat boy. That's Vegas, take a one-hour nap in their filthy cock? <laughs> That's Vegas, baby. You ever seen someone covered in pitch, set on fire, and tossed into the Grand Canyon only to somehow crawl out and survive? We can't expect God to do all the work. Jesus fucking Christ. That's Vegas, baby. But enough <laughs> of the chatter. How about we start getting somewhere? The time for talk has passed. The Lord's work must be done. Fall in New Vegas is the story of a courier that's delivering a, male, a mysterious dark package, package from, to the New uh, Vegas Strip Skyrim. that's robbed by a charismatic gangster and left yeah, to baby. die in the Mojave Wasteland. The truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Fortunately, you know a man by the name is? of Doc Mitchell no. digs the left. Is that voice actor? Oh no. Is that a. It's Chandler from Friends. Matthew oh, Perry. Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry. Yeah, man. Okay, now I hear it. Matthew Perry yeah, totally. plays Benny. Matthew oh, no Perry way. plays Benny. 
That's sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can totally hear that Your brain picks up the pieces and puts you back together like Humpty Dumpty, introducing you to character creation. I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. Special stats oh. come first in the form of strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck, each making you good or bad at certain things on a scale from 1 to 10. You got 10 agility? That makes you the deadliest gun <laughs> on the side of the Mississippi. <laughs> You got one charisma? Well, negotiating with you has got to be the most awkward and infuriating interaction two human beings can have. Just give me some goddamn medics and fuck off, will you? Because I'm a bumbling moron and play video games like a fucking ape, I said to hell with the balance allocation they suggest and went straight up Lord Death of Murder Mount. 10 strength, 7 endurance, 10 agility, and 10 luck. God, what the fuck is this bitch? Alright, let's state the obvious. There's something wrong with me. I am Hercules' bigger cousin <laughs> strong, with tough as nails endurance, walks on water agility, and two-headed coin flip lucky. If I so much as breathe on an organism in the Mojave, you better believe it'll end in a critical hit with enough force to overthrow a small government. Like the sight of your own blood? I don't know, do you? <laughs> However, it also means that I have the perception of a deaf bat, the charisma of a misanthrope, and intelligence so low that calling me dumber than a fucking brick is perfectly accurate. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? These base stats are complemented by skills, which are heavily influenced by where you put your special points. Like, remember my 10 agility? That means jacked guns and jacked sneak. Remember my one charisma that makes my speech and barter barely resemble that of a sentient human being? I'm so terrifying, yet so lacking in social skills. Even the most basic conversation probably feels like a hostage negotiation. Well, <laughs> good luck with that. Again, Lord Death of Murder Mountain, which means specking guns, sneak, and explosives so I can exterminate any life form I come into contact with <laughs> from the tiniest praying mantis to the saltiest powder gang. Take this, Don't you stupid it. fucking bug. Take this, you stupid powder fucking bug. gangers rule. <laughs> <laughs> and skill points are rounded out by traits, which I just adore. Because on one hand, you can pick something pragmatic like built to destroy, which gives you a higher critical hit chance, but your weapons wear out faster. Bang, bang, Had enough? bang, bang. His what? Fell off, but on the what? other, you can pick some shit like my favorite, Wild Wasteland, which enables bizarre events to occur, like taking some dicey drugs and fighting a fucking Yaogwai that's on fire. Have at it, you stupid son of a bitch. Take drugs, kill a bear. Uh, what? What? There's an actual flaming Yaogwai? What the fuck? Am I even hitting the right one? Yeah, that was right. Wait, well, there's once you're not choosing who you want to be and enter the Mojave, <laughs> that is the next big one you gotta learn. Because 90% of staying alive in the wasteland is making sure everything else around you is dead. <laughs> Ow. The Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, or VATS, is the tightest shit ever. I fucking love VATS because it allows you to freeze time Dio style and choose exactly where you want to shoot and the probability of hitting your target. Watch this center mass. <laughs> it's not mandatory. You don't have to use it. You can just blast things away like you would in any other shooter. Haunt me, Gecko. Personally, I use it every chance I get. Just the combination of precise shots, the slow motion, and some of the hilarious outcomes, I just can't help myself. Oh, shit, that hurts. You can select multiple targets. You can be choosy about body parts, like hitting someone's right arm to knock a weapon out of their hand or someone's legs so they can't flee, especially if that person just won the lottery. Who won the lottery? I did! I feel bad about using the 40 mil for this. Oh. oh! It's not perfect because even if you're extremely close to a target with near perfect accuracy, sometimes you can accidentally vibe check the wrong person. Whoa, no, no, not shoot Kachino. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, we are shooting Kachino. <laughs> yes, <we are> shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And other times, Vats is just too accurate. I never thought it was possible to be too consistent, but a snafu with dynamite proved me very wrong. Rise and shine, Captain Parker. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> That's okay. I'm bound to Oh shit, everybody's away now. I'm not gonna die now. I'm so dead. Oh god. <laughs> Even though I may have blown my legs off with dynamite, my heart was in the right place because what I was fighting for was totally worth it. A yeah. bed. Just like vats, beds are absolutely critical to your survival because the wasteland is full of scary shit that takes your health away and breaks down your limbs, especially if you use landmines as a primary weapon. Hey, wake up, Frank. 
<laughs> up, Frank. <laughs> but if you sleep in a bed, Peaceful even for just an hour, you regain primary. all of your yeah. health and all of your broken limbs are magically fixed. Don't ask me how it works. That's I don't nice. know about you guys, but I think that's worth cutting someone's head off with a switchblade. Ring a ding ding, baby. Ooh, that critical. <laughs> Final word of advice here is to always check if there's an open bed before you kill anybody. Because I've slaughtered entire tents of people and taken naps next to corpses only to realize there was an open bed right next to them. I just want to take a nap. Let me take a nap, you asshole. <laughs> basics covered, it's time to make our way to New Vegas so we can find that bastard Benny and figure out why some stupid platinum chip was worth blowing someone's head off. Now's a good time to remind you that I'm a complete fucking oaf. I'm glossing over a ton of stuff and probably leaving some important shit out. So remember that my <laughs> advice is meaningless and time is a flat circle. There's more to it, but we don't have the time. By which I mean... You don't. On the road to New Vegas, I prefer to trust absolutely no one, because the wasteland is never as it seems. See that nice old lady running the motel with the giant dinosaur? Well, she just sold someone's wife into slavery. Wow, Jeannie Mae, you negotiated the sale of a person and only got a thousand caps? Killing everyone that doesn't explicitly offer value to you is a wonderful policy, because as far as I'm concerned, this wasteland belongs to me and the weak should fear the strong. It's a part of life out here best to accept it. Upside here, looting is a dream, because robbing a corpse is a far smoother experience than bartering with a living being, and who knows, you might just get lucky and find a mysterious big iron that has sound effects. Oh, yeah. Yeehaw, chuckle fucks. Sick. Downside here, everyone yeah. that you Say, I'd be doing yet, that all your guts. day. Oh man, do people ever think you're an abomination? So interacting with the various tribes of the Mojave is significantly more painful. The NCR has declared you a terrorist. <laughs> Wherever the NCR has jurisdiction, you will be shot on sight. <laughs> it's about fucking time, fellas. I'll get to these various tribes in due time. All I'm saying is, you have choices. Be good, be evil, kill nobody, kill everybody. I don't give a shit, make up your own destiny. Hear that? We have options. My destiny was to confront <laughs> Benny at the top casino on the New Vegas Strip and figure out why the hell that platinum chip was so goddamn important. But just before I did, I was reminded of why my seemingly dumbass build is so damn brilliant thanks to maxing out Sneak. You see, none of these casinos on the Strip want a bumbling wastelander walking into the joint with all kinds of dangerous weapons, so they make you check them at the door to avoid any violence. But if your Sneak stat is high, you can fit an arsenal in the door, no problem. I can get weapons past the guards, no problem. You Night. One fella I knew was able to slip a pistol past the guards. You? I'm guessing you could get a machine gun by them. Hey, hey, Rich, well, welcome to the top hotel and casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. <laughs> Sure, here you go. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Okay, so they didn't find two 357s, a 44 Magnum, two 10 millimeter pistols, three 9 millimeter pistols, a combat knife, eight six of dynamite, a frag grenade, three more six of dynamite, a mysterious <laughs> Magnum, a silence 22, spike knuckles, a switchblade, and a tire iron. Sneak is broken. I'm gonna repair yeah. all this, by the way. Don't have an aneurysm. This oh allows you to kill God. Benny any way you like. I was surprised he didn't <laughs> perish from a heart attack the moment he laid eyes on me still breathing. What? In the goddamn blow his guards up with a frag grenade and finish him off with dynamite. Hell, you can even let him flee for the time being and kill him later over and over again when his hands are tied thanks to the joy of quick saving. Now you're talking. That is the ring a ding move, baby. Yeah, you, you better believe yeah. that Best Benny Matthew starts sweating Perry. when you get totally the F5 key. Some of the slaves are The truth is. The game was raped from the start. <laughs> 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 so Did I really just march halfway across the Mojave to kill Benny with a tire iron? <laughs> You're damn right. Fair kill. Yeah. Oh, with a tire iron? Oh, can you actually off. crucify him? You sick, vindictive fuck. Happy now, you twisted bum. Oh I still feel like tire God. iron is the best. It is always the best. And if you think killing Benny is the climax of your New Vegas crusade, ooh baby, are you ever ring-a-ding wrong. I'm not talking about Maria, the pistol that he shot you in the face with that you get to use however you like. The truth is, Remy, the game was rigged. <laughs> I'm not talking about his ace checkered suit it's that I primarily use yeah, to get discounts yeah, 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 yeah. and gun okay. runners. This robot oh, is giving me a 2% discount just because I'm wearing a checkered suit. I'm talking about that mysterious platinum chip that cracks the entire story wide open, and I'm sure you're just itching to know why. What the fuck do you think, asshole? Apparently, the man after this platinum chip you were carrying when Benny blew your head off is Mr. House, the mastermind running the New Vegas Strip, and why am I still talking about him when his ego does such a better job? By the time I 
time I was 30 years old, I was a billionaire 30 times over. I founded and ran a vast economic empire. Do you really think I'm going to let an upstart come into my home and ransom my property to me? I spent two centuries searching for the platinum chip. It's my invention, my property, mine! Now be a good courier and deliver it! And he's angry for a reason, because his position of power comes from his Securitrons. You know those big blue robot guys that can either kill you on sight or become your cowboy best friend? Howdy, partner. Welcome to New Vegas. Well, that platinum ship you're carrying contains an update to their operating system that turns them from ordinary foot soldiers capable of small arms fire into missile blasting grenade launching behemoths ready to vaporize any adversary into dust. Behold, for the first time, Securitrons running the Mark II OS. The M-235 missile launcher gives the secure target a game ground and air targets at significantly longer Ooh. range. Oh, that and reloaded very quickly. Launcher ensures the Securitron is deadly in close range engagements. Yeah. Benny basically blew her head off because the giant Securitron army is currently running Windows XP and you were carrying a licensed version of Windows 10. But that's not even the juiciest part. Benny modified his own Securitron, appropriately named Yes Man, to help him steal the Platinum Chip, overthrow Mr. House, commandeer his Securitron army, and shoot him out of the New Vegas Strip. Though I think Benny would put it differently. Baby, getting outplayed and getting cheated ain't the same thing. Yes Man is willing to tell you all of this because he is unable to say no. And I know this word doesn't mean anything anymore, but he is literally a yes man. But hey, not my fault I can't say no. I love this guy, because he politely lays out your options for shaping the future of Vegas and forces you to finally decide whose side you're on, leading up to the final showdown for all the Mojave Marbles at Hoover Dam. We shall see how brave you are when nailed to the walls oh, of Hoover cool. Dam. Your body facing yeah, west, so you may watch your sick. world die. On one side, you've got the New California Republic, or NCR, representing old world values like democracy, taxes, and the rule of law, but I'ma keep it a buck. Fuck the NCR. Technical move! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the NCR is unbearable, pun intended. Because even as the good guys, they make it impossible to like them with how condescending and pedantic they are, especially when it comes to violence. This is NCR property, and we have guns. So you can only do as we please here, and it would please us if you got the hell off our lawn. I honestly can't wait to sell you into slavery. I'm not even kidding. They are such chicken shit cowards. Like, they are so terrified of the Legion crushing them at Hoover Dam, half of them are contemplating suicide. The Legion breaks through our defenses. I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. If the Legion breaks through our defenses, I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. If the Legion breaks through our defenses, I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. Okay, I get it. You want to kill yourself. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. They're dumber than I am. And as a reminder, I have sub-brick intelligence. It's like, who should we put in charge of a vital solar power plant? How about some bum off the street named Fantastic with no experience whatsoever? That scientist we hired has got to be the dumbest asshole I've ever heard. <laughs> they asked me how well I understood theoretical physics. I said I had a theoretical degree in physics. They said, welcome aboard. Got the whole <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And it feels so good. The Legion, on the other hand, absolutely based. And the shootouts you witness between these two rival factions tells you everything you need to know. God damn, did the Legion ever crush the NCR? They just. Get some! <laughs> You like that? But wait, don't they <laughs> propagate <laughs> slavery and crucify anyone that defies their will? Degenerates like you belong on a cross. 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 Yes. But if there's one thing that I hate more than slavery, it's taxes. The worst kind of slavery. So when I say Awe, you say True to Kaisar. As evil as they may be, at least they're not pretending like the NCR is. Talking mad shit for having no real fighting prowess, and Kaisar's right-hand man Lanius can tell you what happens when words aren't backed by strength. Our roads into NCR are hung with the bodies of those who attempted to negotiate with us. That's the kind of act the non verba ethos I can get behind. Sure, the bleed might be a little intense, but at least they treat me like an equal and have conviction in what they're pursuing. We will take Hoover Dam and move forward until our feet crush the setting sun beneath them. The good of the NCR, or the bad of the Legion,
Asian aren't your only choices either, because Mr. House is always an option, a very corporate, tyrannical option to hand the keys to the Mojave, but I guess when your other choices are cowards or slavers, it's not so bad. My army will do what an army does best, defend territory from invaders, and maintain order. But if you want a wild card option, pick up where Benny left off and side with Yes Man. He'll help you take the keys in the Mojave by I mean? stealing the Securitrons oh, cool. for yourself. An army like that should be enough to defend Vegas from, I'm gonna say, anybody. That way, you get to murder the belittling Mr. House and conquer the wasteland with a friendly face. And before you say, You can't just kill Mr. House because a robot told you to. Observe. How did I lose karma for that? He was already a vegetable, I'm just making a mashed potato. No matter which path you take, you're forced to familiarize yourself with the smaller tribes of the Mojave to determine whether you want their help in the Battle of Hoover Dam, or if you're lacking cooperation. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty, or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. You've got the appropriately named boomers, because they're terrified of anything foreign to them, labeling outsiders as savages, and you gotta make it through an artillery barrage if you even want to talk to them. They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. Can I just say, this is wow, by so far yes the most accurate that. artillery barrage that I've ever seen. Like, this is not the way that artillery works. <laughs> How the hell did you survive that bombardment? I didn't run through all that artillery to hear your stupid question. They were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades. Burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat. Yes, was young Pete. Burning <laughs> the wood flame <laughs> It was neat. Sure, they're intolerant, but they taught oh, me man. this field trip to meet other tribes wasn't just so I could check a box of exterminate or don't exterminate, because if you help them out, they can have a big impact at Hoover Dam. So fine, boomers, I'll fix your stupid plane and make your dreams come true. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. Can you dial it back on that word? Anytime he says savages, he just goes, SAVAGES! The great cons are hilarious because everybody makes fun of them for being filthy drug traffickers that live in tents. The cons are just, they're a dirty people. They live in tents like animals, and they're very rude. And I think you can deal with them diplomatically to win their favor, but uh, I've never tried that option. 22%, can I hit that? Oh, I can hit that. <laughs> you know what's even better than killing drug traffickers? Killing drug traffickers on their own product. I'm so high <laughs> off a of psycho right now. Diplomatic efforts are better spent on the Brotherhood of Steel, because if you run their silly errands, they can hook you up with special power armor training to wear this god-tier steel suit. Wake up to the money, turn me right <laughs> Everybody yes. looking for that platinum chip when I got that platinum drill. <laughs> one is cooler than T45, you are actually psychotic. And I'm not gonna recommend that you pickpocket the heavy hitters and initiate their bunker self-destruct sequence once you've got the training in your hands, but... Yoink! Uh, yoink! I'll take that. Are you sure you would like to initiate the self destruct Yes. You can kill me all you want. I've already won. I've already won. It's already too late. I bet you regret putting that explosive collar on me now, assholes. Good. That's one less loose end. Consider them forgotten. <laughs> along with the projections that predict they'll be our biggest enemy. Forgotten! Not all the tribes are out <laughs> oh bumblefuck either. You've also got to make contact with some of the families running other prominent casinos on the Strip, so even if you already know you want them exterminated, you at least have to look them in the face before you kill them, Benny style. Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig. The Omertas that run a giant whorehouse called Gamora deserve to be wiped off the face of the earth. Not just because they kill hookers, not because they're stockpiling arms, but because they're complete pieces of shit and it takes like three pickpockets to dismantle their whole operation. What the fuck are you looking at? The fuck are you looking at? What the fuck are you looking at? I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? I don't give <laughs> half a dick what you heard. Now get the fuck out of my face before I burn your sorry ass. <laughs> and I will... Take that off your hands. Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? Just like that, all your guns are gone. And as much as I'd love to tell you that I had an elaborate way of destroying Kachino and his cronies, you already saw how that ended. I guess we are shooting Kachino. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> White Glove Society oh, at the Ultralux are by far the worst liars I have ever come across. When people proactively scream at you, we're not cannibals, we swear. You better believe they eat people. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. You know, once I end up reviewing this footage, I feel like I can tell you exactly what she meant by saying those words. The White Glove Society will consume human flesh for any reason. We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. <laughs> oh no, this is another one that's just too perfect to pass up. We engage in cannibalism <laughs> here under any circumstances. It gets even better once you press them on it, like, why do so many people disappear while staying at your hotel and they're like what we hired a private investigator to solve that mystery go ask him about it and he's dead in his room i had our maitre d mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied oh really Yo, holy shit, he dead! And the White Glove Society sends a bunch of dudes in tuxedos to fight a man in power armor. <laughs> Great idea. Their latest victim is the son of this rancher named Heck Gunderson, and he is definitely worth rescuing in the basement. Not only because of the conversation you get to have with the chef. Who the fuck do you think I am? I'm the fucking god of New Vegas Brahmin fusion cuisine, that's who. No, no, that doesn't even give me the credit I deserve. I fucking invented edible food. Do you like eating? Good. <laughs> You owe me your entire goddamn oh garbage my. existence. Keep talking shit, Philippe. <laughs> Keep talking shit. <laughs> Not only because you get to feel the adrenaline yeah. rush of fighting 15 cannibals at once. No, run away, kid. Run away. Oh. Uh, oh, they got the kid. Not only because like... you can punch Marjorie's <laughs> stupid head off and even the Mater D if you feel so inclined. <laughs> what the fuck? How does she have such a strong head? <laughs> oh, shit. Degenerates like you belong on the Once you do get him back to his dad, he shoots up the whole casino in a fit of rage and cuts off the entire food supply to the New Vegas Strip. Oh shit! You like that? Nailed him. Well, that does it. None of them maniacs That's will ever sick. do business with Hag Gunderson long as they live. They control the food? Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. Let them starve. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole. That sounds like a fantastic idea. <laughs> Hell, there are even tinier tribes that aren't mandatory to meet with, but worth exterminating anyway. So I'm looking at you, fiends. What the fuck are you doing here? You got some kind of fucking death wish, asshole? Final warning, asshole. All right, asshole. You just fucked yourself. <laughs> The only annoying part about the fiends are their traps, which they end up triggering themselves most of the time. <laughs> just, <laughs> just casually. Did he just trigger his own trap? Oh, you f <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. She definitely tripped it. She definitely. <laughs> it's even worse that these traps defy the laws of time and space. Like one time I triggered a trap and a second before it exploded, I escaped outside and thought I was safe. Little did I know that the timeline inside this building freezes once you leave it. So no matter how long I spent outside, that grenade was still one second away from exploding on the inside. On top of that, New Vegas saves oh anytime you enter a building. So I was now auto saved right inside that building with a grenade about to explode, which eventually formed an infinite loop of dying to a grenade, loading the autosave, and dying to that same grenade. And over, and over, and over again for all of eternity. Going back inside? All good? All good. Oh, oh. God. Oh, shit. What happens if I load, though? Wait, what happens when I load? Oh, It's gonna happen forever now because it auto-loads the autosave from the doorway. Fuck, man, it's gonna go on forever. <laughs> Speaking of explosions, I don't oh, hate no. the powder gangers, but for some reason they hate me. Like, their alliance on dynamite, I really admire. Why can't we be friends? I'm pretty sure all three of them just threw dynamite at me. <laughs> they did. <laughs> okay, so we got a dead caravanner, we got a dead powder ganger, and what's he gonna say? Damn, running low on smokes again. That's the most powder ganger answer I've ever heard. <laughs> the only group I didn't bulldoze on site were the kings, because you can't do that to the king. And if you don't know who the king is, well, you should take a trip to Memphis and find out. Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? Thank you. 
Thank you very much. No matter how you choose to handle the tribes or who you choose to back in the Battle of Hoover Dam, the presidential assassination quest will always be funny. Because if you're back in the NCR, Mr. House, or Yes Man, you've got to prevent it from happening. Hey, uh... God, that, that fucking scared me, dude. <laughs> Uh, did that ranger just get blasted <laughs> off that tower? Um, um. I have a quick save. I just want to see if he's going to take his head off. Oh, fuck. He got Oswald. <laughs> Those rangers don't give a shit. They're just standing there. Look at them. Um, um, um. We're not going to get away with it this time, you sneaky piece of shit. Oh! What? <laughs> what? 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 The f <laughs> what? Oh, no. Mr. President! Mr. President, get down! What the fuck? I think his legs got stuck in the tower and his torso just didn't want to be here anymore. Uh, should I? Should I call this in or just let it right roam free? I actually don't know if he's any any much of a threat any longer. I think that was it. Just one guy. He's on the vertebrae. Uh oh, it's good. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> the game was rigged from the start! <laughs> this dude is so strong, he powers through save games. Like, I just quick saved, it quick loaded, and he's still here. It was around this time that I realized siding with the Legion is so much more fun, and sticking it to the dumbass NCR is just icing on the cake. Like, if I bring a missile launcher to a presidential speech and you don't find it suspicious, you deserve to have your president vaporized. Do they care? <laughs> Don't even care that I'm whipping out a missile launcher right in front of the president. You dispatched President Kimball with real skill. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> real skill. <laughs> missile launcher from point blank. Right? <laughs> the sole fact that Kaisar is suffering from a brain tumor and is prone to random fits of headache induced rage makes his cause worth backing. You'll be talking about a quest and then out of nowhere. God! Damn it! I expect that information can be used to manipulate them. Go to. Oh, oh, God damn it! Fuck this! I'm going to lie down. If you interfere with me getting some sleep again, I'm going to have you killed. <laughs> we will talk later. <laughs> oh, wait, true to Kaiser. It's not a. What an honest answer. <laughs> seriously, seriously, like. <laughs> Like, yeah. like, I, I mean, Kaiser will not be woken up again. I'll say that. Much. I'm surprised they don't have more characters who do stuff like that. <laughs> like, wake them up in the middle of the night, it's like, I'm gonna kill you. A full strength chapter, mind you. The profligates. Yes. <sighs> the profligates. <laughs> <laughs> but because the game ends once the Battle of Hoover Dam is over, it's a solid idea to explore all the Wasteland has to offer before you finish the fight. Talk shit to the NCR hit squads that force you to improve your standing with the Republic or suffer the consequences. Oh no! Since you haven't pissed yourself, I'll assume that you don't know who we are. Next time I'll bring my sickle and wear my black cloak. The NCR sends us when they want terrible things done to terrible people. You've got three days to improve your reputation with the NCR or we come for you without all this pleasant conversation. Yeah, sure, you got it. I'll stop working for Kaiza. Man, you're really scary running in the other direction. <laughs> the DLC is worth checking out, and even though I only played Honest Hearts to avoid making this video two hours long, boy was it ever worth it. Damn it, ambush! Ambush? Can I even... Can I even prevent this? I don't... Oh, shit! <laughs> I don't think I can stop this! Yeah, I don't think oh. I can stop this. I think it's designed to happen this way. Oh. Or I'm just hitting 20 somehow. <laughs> I don't know how I hit on 20, what the fuck? Yeah, they're all dead. Forget it. Forget it. Fuck. <laughs> You! I'd highly Ooh, recommend the Sneering Imperialist trait if you head to Zion, which grants you a 15% damage buff and a bonus hit in VATS against Raiders, Junkies, and Tribals. It's basically weaponized racism, or at the very least a racism buff, and I'm not racist, but I do appreciate doing 15% extra damage and having a bonus hit in VATS. <laughs> what oh, is that geez. damage? Auslander Zuka Joshua Gram. 
If you're too dumb to speak my language, you're too dumb to talk to me. Get lost. <laughs> Shice. Speaking of Joshua Graham, that's Kaisar's former right-hand man that lost the first battle of Hoover Dam, which ended in him getting covered in pitch, set on fire, and tossed into the Grand Canyon. I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. I fell down into that dark chasm. The flame burned on and on. His crispy ass is the best character in all of New Vegas, and airing out an entire canyon with his pistol pack and 45 buff is some of the most fun I've ever had. The time for talk has passed. The Lord's work must be done. Make no mistake about why we are here. This is an extermination. While Such Joshua Graham cool is in voice. your party, yeah. any 45 caliber auto pistol you use has less spread and is twice as likely to score critical hits. Yes. We warned you at Syracuse. Kunaman mad. He killed all white legs. You talk. You stop. Whatever. Josh will put a cap in General Gobbledygook here. <laughs> and once I found my way out of Zion, it was time for the final phase of the plan. You already know what the <laughs> oh, fuck man. about to happen. Vegas will fall. The fight for Hoover Dam is radically different depending on which side you're on. Like, you can crush the NCR with something as simple as a hunting shotgun or a Garand. I can already tell this is easier. So much easier than taking on the Legion. Jesus, well, apart from that little bit of friendly fire. This honestly feels like a different <laughs> difficulty. Like, these rangers fucking suck. It, did I, like, drop down to very easy? What is this? <laughs> I'm sorry, ranger, but it's... It's a wrap for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a stack, trooper. It's not safe for you right now. That's right. Fuck you and your fake power armor. That shit is whack. It doesn't block anything. Like, what's the point? What's the point? <laughs> Going up against the Legion is a whole different ball game. That shit is tricky. I mean, not that tricky because if you slam enough Medex, Jet, and Psycho while flat out <laughs> abusing the anti-material rifle, nothing in this game is that tricky. Rip the homie. <laughs> so high on a drug that your bullets start doing more damage. I just love that. Best feature of this game. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but still, fighting alongside the Legion is so much more fun and so much more vindicating once you get to wipe that condescending smirk off General Oliver's face. I would sooner spit on the grave of my dead mother than let some courier walk the wasteland fuck talk to me like that. Courier walk the wasteland <laughs> fuck? <laughs> would you like to rephrase? I think you're cast out enough to know my chances are pretty good. Chances are pretty good. Just vaporized four rangers. Oh, this should be good. Shut the fuck up. The highlight for me, beyond boomers dropping high yes. explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. You know what I say corrected? That little kid Pete talking about raining high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages? I kind of get it now. Was the appearance of the mysterious stranger and misfortune. Basically, there's these two traits where there's a random chance that a man or woman will show up in vats and blast away the enemy you're engaging, and nothing against the mysterious stranger, but misfortune cannot be topped. And crippling someone will always be fun. It will never know. Well, I guess misfortune is just gonna steal the show. Frag <laughs> rounds. I'm missing. I'm missing all of those. All oh, misfortune! <laughs> it goes so far when she hits them. Don't you run away from me. Where is he even going? The closet? <laughs> what? Um, okay. It seems like a weird place to... In the closet of all places. In the fucking closet. I still feel like the four year kind of sucks, but I guess it's worth trying out every now and again. Oh, misfortune! That's tight! What? Where did that dude's fucking body go? There she is again. And holy shit. She is so much better than Mysterious Stranger, it's not yeah, even that's funny. Insane. She's like a walking artillery piece. Come on out, Oliver. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> Attack criticals are by far the best thing in this game. Like, they just do so much fucking damage. God, dude, look at this clown. Fuck the NCR. I don't know if the big boomer penetrates. Oh, never mind. Miss Force is just gonna do the work for me. So it doesn't penetrate, but it still doesn't have a lot of damage. Is that a misfortune hit on two consecutive vats? 
this shit broken? Is three in a row possible? Could the- Well, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Degenerates like you belong on a cross. I had to, it's the last dude, it's the last dude. And that's the story of how we crushed the NCR and took Hoover Dam. God willing, Kaiser does the same shit to California because Lord knows it needs to happen. This slaughter pleases me. Perhaps in time I will be granted the honor of conquering the land known as California. For now, come. We must see to the burning of the dead. Don't forget to take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen on the way out. You don't want to get dehydrated in the Mojave. Just sold a bunch of human flesh to gun runners. You take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. <laughs> you take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. Just slaughtered an elderly couple to take a nap in their bed. Sips from canteen. God, dude, you take a sip from your trusty <laughs> Vault 13 canteen. Blows up Brotherhood of Steel Bunker. Take sip from your trusty <laughs> Vault 13 canteen. You take oh, a man. sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. I have been chugging out of this <laughs> sink for the past 40 seconds to not waste a stim pack. And what am I doing while I'm chugging out of a sink? I'm <laughs> Taking a sip from my, from my trusty, trusty Fall, fall 13, 13 canteen. And that's about it. That's all I got to say. A final fuck the NCR for being pedantic pieces of shit. Trolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. And may Kaiser rule the Mojave for all of eternity. True to Kaiser. Yes, man, is also a solid option. But I'll stop now. It's time for this video to end. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. <laughs> fuck the NCR. I've been enjoying Russian Badger's reviews. And that's it. That's Follow New Vegas. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Cyberpunk 2077 because I originally was going to make a video on that, but then I was like, oh, this is a broken fucking piece of trash. I should probably check out who did this the right way, and Fallout New Vegas is something incredible. I'm not going to hit you with any of the game critic lines, but the story is cash. The characters are cash, to the point that I almost cried at some of the voice lines. Like, Joshua Graham's story is so damn inspiring for a fucking fictional character. Oh my god, please play this game, you dumb son of a bitch. I'm gonna end it there. I really am gonna cross my fingers and hope this video was not demonetized and age restricted like the last Fallout video because I did so much fucking psycho and psycho jet that it actually thought I was, I don't know, recommending the use of hard drugs. And before I go, do you think the death claws are scarier than Cazadors? Degenerates like you belong on a cross. Oh man, what? What a what a what a great review. Um so good. yeah, it's like so yeah, coming from someone who knows quite a bit about the game, he covered like pretty much all elements of the story and the gameplay. Um I mean that's I mean he co covered so much. That video, I mean he play, he played every ending. Right. And right. played with different like stats and different um like special abilities mm -hmm. that you can get. Yeah. Um, That's wild. Like he really just played everything. Yeah. Which I mean, and and that that just also like objectively shows the value of that game. Like I I I yeah. still to this day think that Fallout New Vegas will probably go down in history as one of the best like um, dynamic single player experiences that you could possibly have, um, mm -hmm. especially on a console. Um, yeah, I mean like all, all the different characters and all of the different like, like, uh, gangs and groups that you could side with or become like vilified by, or, um, it's just, it's just so cool. And like every, it feels like one of those games and experiences where every little thing that you do does have some sort of consequence. Mm -hmm. Um, whether it be on the ending or whether it be something like in that moment, maybe a group just starts to hate you or whatever. But, um, and yeah, seeing it from Russian Badger's perspective, someone so high octane, high energy and like playing the game that he would, how he would play it a hundred percent was, was really entertaining and fun. So anybody, whether you're coming to this video as, as a Fallout New Vegas fan or a fan of Russian Badger or both, I feel like that, that video was very entertaining. 
uh, very informative and just a whole lot of fun through and through. Like yeah. it's it's the best of all worlds. I mean, it's so fun to have Russian Badger bring like his chaos energy to to it as well, and yeah. like well, even just like playing that loop of him getting stuck in the, <laughs> yeah. the grenade, it's being like. It's going to have it yeah. over and over again. But him being but like, him actually no, going through it, it. Like, I'm like, going to load it five or six times and let, like, you guys see what happened. Like, oh. I, I thought that that was actually pretty different about this game, too. Is like, he, he would talk about things and discuss things, but he, he actually, like, would show it through. Like, like he would actually let mm-hmm. us experience it the way that he actually did, too. Yeah. Um, without cutting it short or trying to make it funny it's like no we got to see why it was funny yeah yeah, yeah. um and he, yeah it was, it was just a Building really all that stuff yeah well I mean, well done review yeah oh the the days of having to save yourself <laughs> i remember playing um mm. mass effect and mm-hmm. like playing for like two hours and then dying and being like oh <gasps> Oh no! I didn't save. I yeah. have to do that all again. Oh man! It was oh, like, I mean, you only do that once or twice right. before you go. Like, all like, right, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> Every mission I'm about to enter, save. Yeah, that's see, that's what kids need these days. They need video games that do not have an auto save feature. Because, man, talk about a way that you learn quick mm-hmm. when when you got to redo missions or go back, especially in RPGs. Like, the, man, nothing creates a bigger pit in your oh, stomach. Yeah. Than, and you're like, oh no, yeah. I died so far back. Yeah. Oh yep. yeah. Yeah. But very cool, very fun to check that out. You know, and, and honestly, I you know, the, New Vegas is probably a game that I I don't know that I would have necessarily gotten back to mm-hmm. to really enjoy it. So it's fun to watch Russian Badger play through it and like feel like I got a lot of like the rich experiences mm-hmm. from it. Yeah. Um, but I mean, hey, maybe I will go back and check it out. I mean, it's cool to see like the voice acting and the story seems so good. Yeah. It really like, seems Great. Yeah. Bethesda always does that thing. Any Bethesda property, like they yeah. they they make all of the characters, even the insignificant ones, really have this like have this presence. Um, and there's a lot of lines of dialogue in these games, yeah. and I think that's a big part um, as as to why. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I would totally play through this game. Especially like like with you, if we just uh, if we end up doing playing a game like this on Twitch, like I think that that would be a a really fun like adventure to go through together. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, yeah, and that actually would be. I mean, neither of us played it, so maybe yeah, that's the one. Yeah, maybe that's yeah. a good one to start with. Yeah, sure. I know. <laughs> yeah, that'd be sweet. It's still a popular IP. People still play it today. So yeah. Um, Let us know in the comment section down below if that's something you'd like to see and what your experience has been like playing New New Vegas. Do you think it's like as awesome a game as Russian Badger saying it is. Um, love to know in the comment section down below. Yeah. And if you liked our reaction, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything else. And uh, yeah. we, uh, we, we hope that um, whenever you're watching this, you enjoy a, a very, very lovely rest of your day, evening, whenever it so happens that you're watching this. And uh, yeah, thanks for spending some time with us. We know yeah. this one was kind of a longer one, but um, it's it's always fun to sit back and indulge in a really really fun game with a, with a fun personality and with you guys. So yeah, um, we appreciate it. And uh, I think it's I think it's time to uh, bid these people adieu. What do you say? Yeah, I think we'll see you next time. I Chicago. think I know it. Oh yeah, I know it. On Chicago reacts.